Hi, and welcome to the Getting Started tutorial for HarnessNation.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the navigation for the website, as well as provide you with a high-level overview of how the game works. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of the components, we encourage you to check out some of our other videos that are available. After you've created your account and your very first stable, you'll be logged into what's known as the stable dashboard. This will provide you with an overview of your stable, as well as show you some of the upcoming stake races, your race results for the day, racing stats, and much more. On every page in Harness Nation, in the top left-hand corner, you'll see this menu icon. If you click on this, the navigation menu will open and provide you with many different options to get around the site. Within each of these menu options, there are several sub-menu options available as well. As you can see, there are a lot of different areas within the game to explore. We encourage you to check out some of these links to see what the game has to offer. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a slew of icons as well as a couple of extra menus that are available. These icons will highlight with a red circle to show you if there are any pending notifications, private messages, incoming pre private breeding offers, incoming payment center offers, or private horse sales. No matter which page you're on in the game, you'll also be able to get a quick look at your stable information by clicking on the stable menu icon here. This will show you your current stable name, ID number, money, credits, as well as provide you with quick links to hop over to the stable dashboard, your main stable, or your breeding stable. You can also take a look at your account information by clicking on the account menu, which will provide you information such as your username, and links to the account dashboard, as well as the ability to switch your stable on the fly and log out of your account. Also available on every page in Harness Nation in the bottom right hand corner is the help button. We encourage you to click on this and submit a help ticket if you're having issues around the site. This can be for anything such as a technical issue or if you're not sure how to do something. Each season in Harness Nation lasts three real months. You can find out more information about each season by visiting the News and Standings section within the navigation menu and clicking on News Center. Each season begins on either the 1st of January, the 1st of April, the 1st of July, or the 1st of October. Breeding season lasts during the first two months of each season, and during that time you'll be able to breed your mares and stallions that are located in the breeding stable. Each foal will be bred to the age of one. That allows you to begin training as soon as we enter the third and final season of the given year. Every horse in the game will become a year older on the start of the next new season, regardless of when they were bred. Now that you've joined the site and you have an idea of how to get around, what do you do next? We highly recommend checking out the horse sales area and buy a horse. We will have a video available that has more information about buying horses, so please be sure to check that out. You can also create a horse, which will cost Harness Nation credits. If you're interested, you can also get into claiming. By visiting the racing office, you can also access claiming races from there. Once you have horses, you'll be able to access them in the My Horses menu through the main stable or breeding stable. Horses must be located in the main stable to be eligible to train or race. Yearlings are the exception, of course, but they can only train during the third and final month of the season. All horses have important stats, and we're going to take a look at a horse that's currently located in our main stable. As you can see, there's a lot of different information available about this horse. You can see their age, gender, their pedigree, breeding information, etc. We're going to focus on the information that's available on the right hand side. Every horse has health, energy, form, and injury risk. Health and energy will regenerate on a daily basis by 0 to 2 points each. Training and racing will lower health and energy. Form is an indication of how on their game a horse may be. Form will fluctuate with training and racing as well. Injury risk is the risk at which a horse is at for racing. Horses can only get injuries during racing and will not be injured during training. 
the higher the risk is, the higher their chances of being injured. However, it's not unseen for horses to race soundly with over 50% injury risk. To lower injury risk, you can use light training methods in the training center. Injury risk is also reduced by 1% a day. You'll also be able to see your horse's preferences on their horse information page. This horse we can see likes trotting on fast half mile tracks. The horse also prefers the mid pack running style. These are important to keep in mind when entering this horse in races. Using their preferences will ensure that we get the most out of this horse. We can also see with this horse that they're qualified for trotting. This is another important piece before you race any horse. You need to ensure that they have qualified. To qualify a horse, you can click on, click on the Qualify This Horse button on their page. You'll be then taken to an area where you'll be able to select the horse, their preferred gait, and qualify them. Once they've qualified, you'll then be able to enter them in races. There are a lot of other actions that are available on your horse page, and we encourage you to take a look at them and explore what they have to offer. You can rename your horse, sell your horse, gouge your horse, or retire for breeding or permanently. Please keep in mind that if you do retire for breeding, you cannot undo that action. They will be placed into your breeding stable and will not be able to move back into the main stable to train or race. Permanent retirement means that the horse will no longer be available for breeding or racing. Scrolling down, you'll be able to see more information about your horse, such as racing history, training history, qualifying history, sales history, and much more. You can even navigate between your main stable horses by using the menu below. After you've acquired horses, you'll be able to train them as well as enter them into races. We encourage you to check out our videos that have more detailed information about each of these as they'll be able to provide you with more guidance. If you're ever in need of help and don't necessarily want to submit a ticket using the help button in the bottom right hand corner, you can also check out the message board. Open up the navigation menu and go down to messaging and you'll see message boards available. We even have a tag specifically for new members. We have a very helpful community and everyone is very eager to provide any assistance that they can to new players. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial. If you need any help, please feel free to reach out to us using the help button in the bottom right hand corner or the message boards. Best of luck in the races. If you're ever in need of help and don't necessarily want to submit a ticket using the help button in the bottom right hand corner, you can also check out the message board. Open up the navigation menu and go down to messaging and you'll see message boards available. We even have a tag specifically for new members. We have a very helpful community and everyone is very eager to provide any assistance that they can to new players. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial. If you need any help, please feel free to reach out to us using the help button in the bottom right hand corner or the message boards. Best of luck in the races.